This is the G sharp minor scale. It is the relative minor to B major. Uh, it has five sharps. Now this scale also shares a key signature just like the B major scale did. This scale is also a, an A flat minor scale which has seven flats. But as far as playing it on the piano goes, it's identical, same fingering, same keys as the G sharp minor. And since five sharps is a little easier to keep track of, that's usually what the music is put in. We're going to raise the seventh step again. So the fingering for it is we're going to start with the right hand, start with the middle finger on G sharp, and four. One, and then this is actually a, a F double sharp. Okay, that G is actually an F double sharp in the scale. So, start a middle finger, in on middle finger, the fourth finger, the ring finger plays the A sharp. Thumb plays the B and the E. Okay. Just remember the F double sharp. Isn't that fun? Left hand, we're going to start on the third finger. Some plays B. Fourth finger plays the C sharp. That's its assigned key. Fourth finger plays C sharp. And the thumb will play the F double sharp. And we end on the third finger again. We're going to start on middle fingers. Guess who plays together, huh? finger and the right hand is going to play the A sharp and the left hand to plays the C sharp. You have to work this out one hand at a time a while but you know it, it learn learn the scale. Learn it. Just do it. All right. Now it's now for beginners. Intermediate do it one octave one note per beat accent every note claps the wrist on the accents. Then two octaves two notes per beat claps the wrist on the accents accent every beat. For advanced people, you do the whole rigmarole, which uh, I will try and demonstrate now. <laughs> I'm going to start this on the lowest G sharp on the piano. Way down 